So it's uh, very interesting. You got all sorts of teams. We're looking at quarterbacks. And uh, in best for last, we're going to play a game today, Joy. It's called To Quarterback or Not to Quarterback. To QB or not QB? That is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind of Cowherd. <laughs> All right, Jaguars, to QB or not to QB? To quarterback. Okay, you got Urban Meyer. He's dealt with Alex Smith. He worked with Cam Newton at Florida. He's dealt with Joe Burrow at Ohio State. He's very good. Alex Smith, Tebow. He knows the young quarterback game. He's been great with it. This is a perfect fit for him. Urban Meyer, more than anything, is known as taking quarterbacks, developing them to the next level. It's a great fit. All right, Jets, to QB or not to QB? I would QB. Robert Sala is the new coach. The reality here is you want a fresh start. I think Sam Darnold needs a fresh start. I think Joe Douglas wants his own guy. Now, it may be a Deshaun Watson over a Justin Fields move. And we know Sala and Deshaun Watson are fans of each other. But my guess is, if I ran the Jets right now, this is no shot. But I've given Sam a couple of coaches. Probably not going to give him a third. And I, according to reports, you can get a second-round pick for Sam Darnold. I'd probably move on. The Dolphins, to QB or not to QB? Well, I would, I would use the pick. And I would get a quarterback. And my reasoning is, you've also got the 18th pick. So you can keep rebuilding that offensive line. I don't see the juice with Tua. Um, If he throws off platform, he doesn't have the arm strength. I know he's got a winning record, and I know their GM and their coach like him, and I get it. There There are things to like. But when I look in that division, and I look at a potential Deshaun Watson's with the Jets and Josh Allen's with the Bills, I don't think you can have a quarterback deficit minimum four times a year in your division. He would be, at best, the third-best quarterback in the division. I'd go get a quarterback with that third pick. Falcons, to QB, not to QB. Actually, not to QB. Matt Ryan's 35. I just watched 43-year-old Tom Brady chop it up. He's got two huge years left in his contract. And also, I don't know if Arthur Smith is going to work as a head coach. I don't know. But I do think it's fair to finally give Matt Ryan an offensive head coach. He's had several defensive head coaches. Let's give him an offensive guy. You can't get rid of his contract for two years anyway. And by the way, he's not a disaster. Matt wins games. Their offense is not the problem. They had the worst pass defense in the league. They're scoring points. That's not their issue. Their issue is the other side of the ball. Bengals to QB, not to QB. That's an easy one, not to QB. I thought th- their question is, is Zach Taylor the right coach? Could be, could not be. Joe Burrow's the right quarterback. I thought he was way better than expected. I, I projected he'd be a Tony Romo. I think he's a better version of Tony Romo, and I, I defended Romo for years. No quarterback. Eagles. Not the quarterback. You got two of them. One of them's got to work. You, you already, you know, by drafting Jalen Hurts, you already made Carson Wentz insecure. So you got rid of the coach. We don't need to go down the quarterback. Jalen Hurts has shown he can win games. Carson Wentz has shown he can win games. Go get a coach like Josh McDaniels and figure it out. Don't add another guy to the room. You got talent. Figure out which one you want to keep. The Detroit Lions to QB or not to QB. So I went back and forth on this, and I'm going to say, first of all, how old is Matt Stafford? Guess. Because I was shocked. 33? Good guess. He's 32. I thought he was like 34. He's 32. He's really talented. Their issues are they're terrible defensively. I think I'd stick with Stafford. I think I'd give him another run with another coaching staff. I could make an argument today. He's your first or second most talented player. You're not, you're not in the business of trading. If you're the Detroit lions, getting rid of your most talented players, I would not quarterback. I'd stay with Stafford. How about the Panthers? See, this is an easy one. This is an easy one. Quarterback. Why? Teddy Bridgewater is the classic Alex Smith. You can win a bunch of games as you rebuild. But go get a Zach Wilson. Go get somebody that's not quite ready. Keep rebuilding. Again, I thought I thought Carolina losing McCaffrey was still a tough out. Bridgewater is the classic quarterback you want when you draft a quarterback and don't want to play him for two years. Don't get a bunch of ego. 
He plays quarterback the smart way. He makes the quarterback room smarter. So whoever you bring into that room, it's a master's class on how to quarterback in the NFL. So to me, Carolina is, and, and by the way, as you recall, last year, they all went defense on the draft. So let's go address the quarterback. We're in no hurry to make it work. But what we are in a hurry is that kid to get in a room with Bridgewater, soak up the information. That's what Mahomes did with Alex Smith for a year. We play in a year or two, you're ready to go. The Broncos to QB or not to QB? To QB. I don't buy the Drew Lock thing. He's not my cup of joe. A little too hip for the room. By the way, worst completion percentage among all qualified quarterback. This is my knock. He's too casual for me. I don't know if you can coach out of that. It's very Jay Cutler. It's just kind of like, hey, when, when you watch the great quarterbacks, you can sense the urgency. You can feel it with Brady. They're always just a little irritated. With even like a like an incomplete, but Drew is like, hey, it's not the NBA, dude. 50% doesn't work on shots. <laughs> He's He was a very good basketball player. He's too casual for me. I'm moving on and getting a quarterback. The Dallas Cowboys. Uh, not to quarterback. Listen, you're not going to. Um, I, I My issue with Dak is the money. It's not Dak can win games. I just worried that paying him $37 million, you've really closed the door on your championships. But, you know, roll with Dak. They're not moving off him. I like Dak. I don't like his contract, but I like him. He is productive. The New York Giants. Uh, not to quarterback. One more year of Daniel Jones. He's got a fumble issue. I did think he had a sense of urgency as the year progressed. I he he had a game this year where he really lost it for him with fumbles, and I think there was kind of a moment, an epiphany for Daniel Jones. Uh, he's only 23. He only had one pick in his last six games. Uh, Barkley missed the entire year. He didn't have a ton to work with offensively in terms of skill people. Evan Ingram's good, but not as reliable. I think you have to draft a wide receiver, give him one more year in the system, and if it doesn't work with Jason Garrett, then you move on. But he is 23. You can't lose a superstar running back and not take a step back. The 49ers. Really hard. I, I, I've I, gone back and forth. I'd probably say no. Listen, they're 7-26 and 26 when Garoppolo doesn't play. And they've got a Super Bowl roster. So what I think you do is if you can't engineer a deal, you play Garoppolo and you just keep your eye. You know, this sounds crazy, but do you engineer a deal for Darnold at some point, maybe at the trading deadline? Let's say you go through the course of a season, you have Garoppolo, he's playing and you're winning. Because if he plays, they win. And at the trading deadline, you know, you call up a team and you make a deal. But I always go back to this. As great as Kyle Shanahan is, they're 7-26 and when he doesn't play. So, you could quarterback here, but you are you don't have a good enough draft pick to get a top three or four quarterback. Yeah, so why? I just don't think there's anything on the market available that wins like Garoppolo wins. And Jimmy G knows the system. He know you, You're going to start week one. He knows what he's doing. The Los Angeles Chargers. No, let's get over it. Justin Herbert's great. <laughs> the Vikings. Um, No, simply because... Two years left on the contract, the cap hits over $30 million. They're screwed. Like, they're, they're, there's nothing they can do. So, for, first of all, they have massive needs defensively. They have the number 14 pick, so what are you getting? Cousins is clearly, he's Derek Carr. You win a lot of games with Kirk Cousins. If you go look at their issues this year, they couldn't stop people. They were losing close games early. Kirk's not the issue. But you can't quarterback at this point because you're stuck with him. Mike Zimmer's a defensive coach. You've got to you've got to be able to. If you start looking at their defense, they had the fewest sacks in the NFL. They had 23. You have got to get a pass rusher. This draft has about three of them early. Get a pass rusher. Live with Kirk Cousins. You're not a championship team, but you're in you're in a bad space with him. The Patriots to quarterback. That's it. They 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 need. And what's interesting, Zach Wilson, I'd even think about moving up a little bit. They're just not dynamic enough. So they have to engineer either a trade. They've got to find, like, I'll tell you the team that Trey Lance is the kid from Dakota. 
All I've seen him is on YouTube. I don't watch their games. He didn't play this year. When you watch him play, you're like, oh, that's New England. That's exactly what they need. A kid that can move, get out. Um, They need a lot, though. Everybody keeps saying Mac Jones, Alabama. That's not what they need. They don't need a distributor. They yeah, need I a keep pl- hearing Mac Jones, too. It's like, no, that's not what they need. They need a playmaker, and they brought Cam in for a year, so they experimented with that offense. To me, Trey Lance, that's exactly what they need, and they need a quarterback. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.